in Camtasia, you can have it so your mouse highlights wherever it is on the screen, or when you click on the screen, it identifies the fact that you've clicked. So I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. Uh, whilst I've got your attention, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, got any questions, leave it in the comments, but uh, please subscribe. Right, on with the video. So here's the video that I've created here. So here's the media down at the bottom in our timeline. On the left hand side, go to cursor effects. Then you've got these options, you've got cursor smoothing, highlight, magnify or spotlight. Also though, along the top, you've got it if you left click or right click your mouse. So we've got rings here, we've got scope, we've got target, we've got lots of different things, you know, ripple effect. Let's just go back for the cursor. So what I'm going to do, I want to highlight. So I'm going to say in this entire timeline, and you could separate it by splitting the parts of the timeline by pressing S when you're actually on the timeline itself. There you go, there's a segment for you. But I'll show you how to do that in more detail in a different video. What we're going to do though, we're going to highlight the mouse. So click on the highlight button there or the highlight option and then drag and drop it onto your timeline. There you go, the effect is being added. Now if I go along the timeline, you can see in the video that the mouse has been highlighted. And there we have it, that is how that works. I'm going to zoom this out though. So let's move along, here we go. Now, what I want to do though, I want to add in a cursor effect of the ring every time it clicks on something. So we go along here, you can see I've clicked there, I've clicked on tweet, I've clicked there, I've clicked there, clicked there. Obviously, I've gone a little bit crazy with the clicking, but that's just to show you it working. But this is how you add on the effect. You don't have to have them both on at the same time, though. You've got the two effects here, so I can click on the highlights one, delete that. You can see the rings effect. You can see every time that I've clicked. So I've been quite frantic in the clicking. You can see along here, along the timeline. Look, click, 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 and so forth. I think this is a really useful tool. I use it sparingly. More often than not, I'd use it just for a segment of the video where I really wanted to show something, but you now know how to use it. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And enjoy adding different highlighting effects to your cursor in Camtasia.